Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And you're Fina OG, welcome to my little corner of Al Gore's internet and another episode of Journey to Redemption. We are here with Nico Champion, and he is trying to burn off a little steam. And he had somewhat of, well, I would say he had a couple awkward moments with uh, his now best friend Tatiana and you know he he's been responding in a way that he did not expect he really liked Tatiana he really likes Tatiana as a friend um, and he knows that she wants more from him and he just can't provide that because he's in love with Tempest. I believe he's still in love with Tempest. Yes, he is firmly in love with Tempest. Matter of fact, they're soulmates. Um, and I believe, I don't know if they're promised to each other. I don't think they are. No, but he firmly believes that she is the one for him. And you know how it is when you're young, you think that you're going to be in love with this person for the rest of your life. But he really thinks that. Um, and he has no idea that Tempest hasn't been true to him if you guys have been if you've caught up with all the um the episodes of journey to redemption you will see that there was a little cut scene at one on one of the the um episodes and um she is currently seeing someone outside of nico and he is oblivious they've got an um I was going to say, they've got a new butler, but that's his dad. That's his dad. <laughs> I mean, he's dressed up like a butler. <laughs> he is. All right. Uh, let's see. This says, I would like to adult now. I'm feeling old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Um, Mason is... Um, going a little overprotective of his son. This is his only child and he wants to see Nico succeed in life and uh, follow him in the medical field. Uh, so, but he is extremely hard on Nico. Uh, he treats him more like a protege than a son. Um, so he's going to answer with not until you've grown more. So it increases Nico's responsibility and his conflict resolution decreases. Nico's going to need some serious therapy after, <laughs> after he leaves his parents' house. Honestly, he has, um, has decided what he wants to do uh, when he grows up. Um, but he hasn't quite told his parents yet. They think that he's going to attend the same college that his father did. Um, but Nico um, hasn't even applied. And this is his senior year um, of high school. So, uh, he, and he's he's not ready to even tell them. And I'm not sure if he's going to tell them. Um, he is adamant that he's going to live his life the way he wants. Um, because he sees what it's done to his the, his parents marriage uh let me bring the wall down a little bit his where's his mom where is she at okay Melisande she is she's a sweet woman she used to be um she's changed quite a bit since she's become the wife of the doctor and um she <laughs> she has her own personal needs that haven't been met. One, she wants another child. Mason is not willing to give her that child. Um, and she honestly has no life outside of Mason and Nico. I mean, she's a socialite, but that's it. She has no career of her own. And she loves to create. So she's a very creative sin, sim sin <laughs> she's a creative sim and she wants to cultivate her talents a little more she she wants to paint she wants to play the piano she does play this piano this baby grand piano right over here um every now and then but not like she used to 
and she wants to get her hands dirty, get into some paints. And she's been doing that from time to time with some of her other socialite friends, but they kind of mock her because they're not really into it, um, except for one uh, specific sim, and I'm trying to think who she is. I can't remember. I wonder if it's, um, I think it's Jessica. I believe it's Jessica. Bella's not into it. Here we go again with Nico going to sleep at freaking, um, I'll just have him replace it. They got money. Um, six o'clock in the morning. I don't know why we're constantly doing this to him. Poor guy. Uh, he's got like class in two hours. So he's got a, he's got a little time to take a brief nap. I'm going to wake him up. Um, and have him hit the shower. Mr. Yoshida's back. <laughs> Wait, when did he come back? Okay, well, maybe, maybe Melisande, you know, called him and made up with him because, you know, she can be a bit, a bit of a, a witch. She can be, she can be hard to get along with. And staff just doesn't stay very long, but, um, she had been, like, talking on and off with Mr. Yoshida. I wonder if she's still friends with him. I didn't see him on her friends list. No, he's she's not. Oh, or he's not. They had been, like, he had, she had been, I guess, seeking his advice. And um, he was more than willing to provide. Mr. Yoshida, I see that you're uh, slacking. Um... More choices, order, purchase medicine, grab a bottle or two, because I know you'll probably get sick quite often. You might have already had some in your inventory. Oh, and you've got food in your inventory. We'll leave that down here for Mr. Yoshida. <laughs> uh, these are the, these are the Dre beats that uh, Tati gave him. Look at that. And he's still got pictures in his, his pocket of Tempest. All right, take that medicine, and you really need to get ready and go to school here in a little bit. Um, okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send Nico off to school and clean up a little bit around here. Um, and I think Mason has to go to work in a couple hours as well, so we're going to wake him up, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Melisande's had a pretty slow day. Um, she just um, was really bored and she felt like, you know what, I want to do something special for my family tonight. I haven't done this in a while. So she decided to cook a gourmet. Should Nico invite over classmate Shiloh? This isn't going to bode well. Okay, fine. Whatever. Nico's invited Shiloh over. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So anyways, like I was saying, Melisande wanted to do something different. She even told uh, Mr. Yoshida to sit down and, you know, relax for a little bit. She's got this handled. So she's making rack of lamb. Look at this. She's like, you know what? I I'm enjoying myself for the first time in a long time in the kitchen. You know, um, I'm going to continue this. So maybe once or twice a week, you can take the night off and I will handle dinner. I think Nico kind of, maybe he just was like, you know what, Shiloh, I, I know I invited you over or, you know, agreed to have you over, but I'm really tired. I need to get some rest. And that's what he's doing. He's getting some shut eye. Um, he really needs to do his homework. He kind of had a bad day of school as well since he had to fail that test uh, on the edge of a breakout. All the stress is going to have to cause me to break out. Okay, so there's that as well. Oh, he has no fish in here. Purchase a fish, put a guppy in there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let him take a nap. Let Melisande finish up. Oh, she's already eating. Okay. Uh, her inventory is full of groceries. She went grocery shopping too. She hasn't done that in a long time. Like seriously, the butler does everything. So she's actually sitting at the bar instead of the dining table because she is, she is adamant that her family sits, you know, formally at the dining table for dinner. And today she decided that she was going to sit at the 
the bar and have a conversation with Mr. Yoshida. Um, she's just feeling a little different today. I don't know what it is. Um, I think she, she, maybe she's turning over a new leaf. Who knows? Who knows? But, um, you know, I think some of it she feels like she wants to, um, she wants to go back and find that Melisan that used she used to be. Um, yeah, she's not putting the food away. She ain't changed that much. Uh, she's going to, uh, all right. So she's, I was going to say, I'm going to put her to bed, but it's still early. Uh, I'm going to have her use the restroom. It's really early. What time does Mason get home? He should be getting home in about an hour and a half. I tell you what, I look at Nico. Look at, look at y'all. Look, he's so dramatic. <laughs> he's just dramatic. Um, all right. So Melisande, I'm, I'm thinking that tonight will be a great night for her to hang out. Um, she's in a great mood. She's not tired. Uh, okay. He's a picky eater. You're just being a real pain in the butt tonight, Nico. Really? You don't like rack of lamb? You don't? Okay. Well, guess what? You, you cannot eat. That's what you cannot do is not eat. All right. Oh, Shiloh did uh, end up coming back over. Maybe that's the reason for the bad taste in his mouth because he knows. He's going to come around and talk to her anyways. Uh, he's really, really dreading this conversation. He's going to try to be f friendly. Um... <laughs> Look at him. He's dragging his feet. He's like, I really don't want to deal with this right now. I know what Shiloh's up to, and I just don't. Um, let's have him be really evil and ask about Tatiana. He's going to push her buttons. And Shiloh's probably not going to appreciate it, but at this point, Nico doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. He already knows the deal between Tati and him and Tati and Tati for what it's worth understands uh, she may still try to push the issue but it's like what do you think about Tati ah oh, she's pretty cool but uh as friends and that's what you should remain our friends he's like you know what I wish you would stop with this really I wish you would Tati and I are friends that's it I love Tempest is that what you came over here for? To to warn me about your friend? To tell me to stay away? I just know my friend and she likes you more than, than what you think. She wants something more. I'm forewarning you. You really need to stay away from her. You know what? You need to go home. You need to just go on home. His face tells it all. It says it all. He's kind of fed up with this whole thing. You know, it's getting to the point now where he's kind of regretting, you know, being friends with Tati because it's causing him more drama that he just doesn't need. He's struggling in school again. Well, at least he got caught cheating on a test. His grades are fine. Yeah, I mean, he's great. He's performing very well. Um, he's back playing ball. It, he's just not. He needs. He wants to focus on other things, not this drama between some girls um he just doesn't all right so let's have him put the food away since mr yoshida went to sleep his mom is in here watching tv ignoring mason what is mason doing he came home he's standing outside he's just uh look at him this is the face of a man that does not want to go home I wish you could snuggle in this game. I was just watching um, Peru Sims, a uh, Peru queen, and um, she was playing the Sims 2, and I forgot that you could snuggle in the Sims 2. All right. Um, you know what? Let's see if he will, they'll, they can make out a little bit. Okay. See, it's not that bad. You guys, you guys love each other. You do. Maybe, um, maybe she can push it. Kiss some more. That's right. 
get him buttered up. Whisper sweet nothings in his ear. She's like, I missed you so much today. And you know what? I really appreciate all that you do for the family. I even made dinner tonight. He's like, yeah, I saw that. And it's a rack of lamb. You haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, I just felt like I needed to be, you know, more um, present with the family. I gave Mr. Yoshida the day off, the night off. So this is the perfect time for us to spend some quality time together. And, you know, Mason's all buttered up. I think he's he's willing to do, you know, some or have some quality time. Uh, I think. Where is he? Oh, he's. Uh. Maybe not. Maybe she can, you know, come in here and get the fire started or, or not. Yeah, Mason? No? He went straight to bed. <sighs> I'm sorry, Melisande. I guess she's like, I guess I'll just go watch TV. Girl, go watch you some TV. And a matter of fact, you watch your, yourself a romance. You got to live vicariously through the, the, the people on TV. All right. Poor Melisande. I, I feel absolutely sorry for her. I really do. Her son is being a jerk her husband is barely giving her the attention that she requires and needs and you know she just feels extremely lonely right now even her friends can't even satisfy the need um for companionship nico couldn't sleep so he woke up um well he yeah he couldn't sleep he woke up and he was supposed to do his homework, but he was just entirely too tense to do his homework. So he decided to get up and, you know, do some chatting online. And he's tempted to chat with Tati because, one, he wants to talk to her about his friend, her friend Shiloh. And, two, he wants to reiterate the fact that they are just friends. So I'm going to, uh, she is online, so he's going to end that conversation, whoever he's talking to now. Um, this is probably not the best time for him to be chatting with Tati because he's in such a foul mood. And he's been teenage moody all day. Shiloh showed up at my, you know, he she asked if she could come over to talk and I agreed to it. I regret having her come over because, you know, she had a uh, underlying MO she wanted to talk to me about you and our supposedly a supposed relationship. We're friends. I I made that perfectly clear to her. And I want to make sure that you understand we're just friends. I really like hanging out with you, Tati. But I don't like having to repeat myself. I have a lot going on right now. And I just want to have a drama-free life. And I want to have one person in my life that isn't stirring up drama. I have enough of that with Tempest. I love her, but Tempest can be a drama queen and her crew. Um, so just, just stop it. Um, I'm not sure. Tati's probably not going to take this very well. This is a night in the town day, so Nico's going to make plans to go out with uh, Tempest tonight. That'll be great. Uh, he hasn't gotten his homework done. He's got class in a couple hours. He's entirely too tense to do it. And that'll be for the next three hours. So we might as well go ahead and put this back in his inventory because it ain't happening. Look at him. He's bawling. He's in love. Aww. Anyways. All right. So we are going to, um, have Nico go out on a date with, with, um, Tempest. Um, because it's night in the town. And it'll be a great way for them to spend some time together. We haven't done that in a while, or he at least hasn't done that in a while with her. Um, and maybe it'll relieve some stress. His, he can feel the tension with his his parents. Uh, what's going on with dad? Okay, he's hungry. Mason's hungry. He can feel that tension. Uh, okay, she just ate the last plate of the of <laughs> Melisam was like, okay, you want to fall asleep on me? That's fine. I'm eating this, the leftovers. Oh, maybe he's coming over here to apologize. 
You know, I'm really sorry about last night. I was extremely tired. I had a long day. Look at his lip. Aww. I, I delivered a baby last night. And it was rough. It was a rough labor. and Or yesterday. I shouldn't say last night. You know, and it was touch and go there for a while. So, you know, I would just appreciate a little more compassion. And, um you know, understanding. I make a lot of sacrifices for this, this family. And, you know, we live in this house because of my job. Melisan understands. She's like, I completely understand that you, the sacrifices you make, but we make sacrifices too. And you've put your, I understand you're a doctor, but you've also sacrificed the, your family. And I just want us to be back to where we used to be. Nico is in a much better mood than he was when he left for school this morning. I guess he realizes that, that it is the weekend and uh, he gets to spend some time with his babe. So he's out here um, doing some, some, uh, some, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing some exercise. I don't know. Um, some reps. Wow. That's that's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah. So he's out here doing a few reps before he goes to take the shower. Take the shower, not a shower. Uh, and uh, asks Tempest out on a date. Um, yeah. So let's actually get him. You know what? We haven't even... Maybe we should have him text her because he didn't even ask her if she wanted to go out. So let's send her a text. Um, just kind of check in with her, see how, you know, see if she's up to it. And then um, he can take a shower. Where's the, oh yeah, what am I doing? Where is he looking like? What's he looking like? Um... Uh... You would think that I know this stuff by now. His needs. Um, okay, his hygiene's not terrible, but yeah, he really should take a shower. All right, so he can uh, get on the throne, use the bathroom, take a shower. Maybe we should look at giving Nico a little bit of a makeover later. I don't know. He's been kind of rocking the same outfits for a little while now. Uh, there's Mason standing outside the house looking for Lauren again like... Man, I got to go in here. You know, he doesn't have an awful life. I don't know what he's complaining about. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got a great kid, a great career, uh, an amazing house. And, you know, most people would trade in <clears throat> trade in their soul for what he has. I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, whatever. Um, Yeah, we need to pay the bills. Oh, jeez. Ouch. I think that's the first time I've ever paid bills at this this house. 13k simoleons. I mean plus 13k. That's insane. Can you imagine trying to pay those kind of bills every month? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, where is Nico? Nico is taking a shower, I think. Oh, he's feeling mighty inspired. This would be a great time for him to get in here and mess around in his DJ booth. Uh, this is his room, by the way. I don't know if you guys have actually seen his room, uh, but he's spoiled. This is uh, this is his room. This is his little DJ booth or music room, sound room. Um, he is really, really into uh, music. That's it. That is what he and Tati share. In common, and um, he doesn't really know that. Um, he's he's knows that she likes to she loves music, but he doesn't know that she can play. Oh, look, look, he's doing his homework on his own. Look how responsible he is. How do you know if he's responsible or not? Okay, good reputation. Where does that does that show? Like what his responsibility is? What is this? Um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. We d oh, right here. Scroll down a little bit. Ooh, he has no emotional control, but he is very responsible. I mean, that's great. We just need to work on his conflict resolution and uh, the emotional control, maybe on the empathy. 
Anyway, so um, we're going to ignore that. Um, is he going to go like this? Do we want to maybe get him dressed? It's getting late. Dude, you need to go ahead and ask your girlfriend out um, on a date because it, it's getting really late. You guys, look at the look on Tempest's face. <laughs> look at her. She's like, he did not show up in these basketball shorts he did not in sneakers she looks really nice like she got dressed up for a true date and nico just came in like he was getting ready to go play some ball he was getting ready to go hoop and she wore hoops i don't know uh but the look on her face says it all i have to take a really quick screenshot of this yeah let me do that really quick i'm sorry guys uh, yeah, I can spell headline effects off. I need to take a picture. Let's get a good screenshot of this. Uh, she's like, I know he did not. Yes, 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 he did, honey. Yes, he did. I mean, he feels really comfortable with her, so... Plus, it's late. She's not happy about that either. But he is taking her to their favorite restaurant over here in Windenburg. Um, they've been here before. I think one of their first dates was here um, at, I believe this is the Hamel. I don't remember what this is called. It's the Hamel something, Hamilton. It's over here. Uh, I said before it's in Windenburg. So they're going to go and sit at one of their favorite tables. Um it's dead. There really isn't one, anyone here. I spoke too soon because a bunch of people just rolled in. Oh, I think you can eat outside, which is really romantical. Mm -hmm. But they're going to eat uh, inside at their favorite spot, like Lady and the Tramp. He really should have gotten dressed up. I look at the maitre d'. He's in a tux. The servers are in tuxes. Nico walks in like he's in the NBA. Oh, she changed clothes? Look at her. She's like, uh, I need to get spiffed up again. Look at you working it out with two outfits in one night. She thinks this is a really special night because, again, this is their favorite spot. They've only been here a couple times, but, you know, this is, this is romantic. It's quiet. Uh, I don't know why she got up to leave. But he's going to go ahead and order for the table. He knows what she likes. They've been together long enough. Uh, let's see. What are we going to eat? Uh, okay, let's first figure out what we're going to eat. There's, oh, well, I guess. I mean, for a pretty fancy restaurant, we have, you know, hamburgers, French toast. Uh, I guess, you know, it's just, it's the atmosphere. That's what we're here for. Not the food. We're here for the atmosphere. Uh, quiche sounds kind of good. Let's do um, the spinach and mushroom quiche for for her. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Tempest. And let's get the grand breakfast for Nico. And to drink, do we have like orange juice? Perfect. This is perfect. Orange juice. Is so perfect for both of them. Um, I mean, what a romantic dinner. But hey, I'm not judging because I do love breakfast food as well. I could eat cereal or French toast or pancakes any time of the day. So I'm not judging. this, And this could be pretty romantic for them. I mean, that's what... Ke oh, look at her. I like her little... Okay, until I got to the shoes, I was like, I like your little outfit. Then the shoes threw me off, the red shoes. But, you know, we we all try to make statements. All right. So, oh, she's, you know, a little disappointment. She's a little disappointment. She's a little disappointed. Um, he's just going to ask her how she's doing. Um, let's see if be enticing. Butter her up a little bit. I'm like, I know I don't, I hadn't, didn't really dress up for the occasion, but... You know, it was laundry day, and I really couldn't find anything to wear. Nico, you're just being yourself. I understand completely. You still look good, and I'm happy to see you. I'm glad you asked me out. I didn't really have anything to do tonight, and I was hoping you would call. Of course, babe. I was going to call and, you know, 
Um, I really wanted to see you as well. Seeing you at school and you know in the, in the hall is just not enough. Um, let's see. Let's. You know what? I'm gonna help her fix the bad relationship he has. She has with Tati. Um, maybe this isn't a great way to lead into the conversation, but Tati is becoming a large part of his life just as much as Tempest. Tati is his best friend and he wants the two to be able to get along. Right now they can't be in the same room together without giving each other side eye. And frankly, he just doesn't need that, um, that just extra in his life. Uh, so he's trying to, he's going to try to make peace. Um, all right. So we're going to let him chat a little bit before he mentions Tati. All right. So let's just get down to it. I really want you. Oh, all right. So she's going to go ahead and talk to Tati. Um, you know, that's really good, babe. I'm glad that you are willing to try to make amends. I hope that she's receiving the information or receiving or receptive. That's the word I'm looking for. Receptive of your apology. Um, and maybe she'll apologize to you. I really want you guys to get along. You're both important to me. You so you more so than Tati, of course, because I love you. But, you know, I really want you guys to get along. Of course, Nico. I love you too uh-huh and she drinks her orange juice like trying to choke all that down uh we know don't we that she doesn't really love nico i hope you guys know that do you know that do you i don't know well uh she is kind of playing him and they're gonna eat oh he is really finicky about food this is the second time i've seen him like Vlad, 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 he haunts us once again. Is he in here cooking? Vlad, what is it with you following us everywhere we go? You you came to the party the other day. Now you're in here throwing down in the kitchen and it ain't good. It's not good. It's not. <laughs> wow. Vlad is in here, y'all. Um, anyway, so did he make her meal too? Yeah. Vegetarian, safe, quality, normal. He's not a great cook, but he's, he's okay. All right. So how could you not like pancakes and bacon and I don't know. What is that? Mushrooms? What is that? What is that? I don't have any, I have no clue what that is. None. I think this is sausage. That I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So they're just having a chat and she's flirting with them a little bit. Um, let's be friendly. Um, let's ask her about her day. Oops. Wait a minute. Wait. Friendly. There we go. Ask about day. And I think he, let's see, maybe, maybe he should blow her a kiss. He's feeling extremely flirty. So is she, this is the perfect time to, you know, butter up some more exchange promise rings. I mean, this is kind of a, a great place for him to suggest that they promise to be with each other for the rest of their lives. They're very young. Still, you know, they're 18 and, you know, how things change after, you know, you leave high school. It's not the same. It's not like, you know, they may not see each other again. He's not going off to college. She's going off to college. So she may have a whole nother life outside of Nico once she leaves. But I think that he wants to make it official that he loves her. But I think Nico, instead of giving her a promise ring, he's going to give her a picture of uh, them from one of their very first dates. And I think that would be more a little more sentimental to her. Let's see how she accepts it. Let's see. She loves it. Uh, 
she remembers. It was a good night. I mean, it was their first date, and uh, they were both very nervous. So now maybe he can give her a kiss. Uh-huh. Aw, she gave him a rose. Uh, he liked it. Well, their date wasn't great. But, aw. Look at her. She's so sweet. Look at him. He's sharing more photos. You remember this? Oh, I remember that. Oh, my gosh. I was so embarrassed. I don't know why she was embarrassed, but go with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have them finish up their meal because they've been doing the mostly talking and it's probably cold. Nico, dude, get a life. If it, you know, geez. Oh, look, my heart leaps when you are near. I love you more and more each and every day. The gift can be found in Nico's inventory. That is so sweet. You know what? I don't think Tati had a note, did it? I'm curious. I wonder if I can scroll all the way back. It's been a while. Probably not. I'm just curious. Let's see. Let's see if we can go back from the last episode and see if Tati gave him a note when she gave him. Well, wait a minute. It would have been Tati, wouldn't it? Because he gave her the... Um, he gave her the rose and she didn't accept it. So anyways, all right. So I'm going to have them eat up and maybe, maybe we don't have to end the date here. It's early. It's a little late in the morning, but it's, I mean, it's the weekend and ooh, it's a little chilly out. Uh, starting, we've got what, this is the last day of summer. All right. So fall is about to hit my favorite time of the year. One of my favorite times of the year. I love winter as well, only because it's cream us. Not because of the cold. All right, so we're not going to end the date here. We're going to go ahead and find another spot for them to, you know, get cozy. Um, he definitely doesn't want to end the night with her, and he's willing to stay up all night. Um, and she's texting, and she's awfully giddy about who she's texting. Who are you texting? I mean, it's 3 30 in the morning. Oh, um, that was, um, that was Talon. He... He just wanted an answer for one of the questions in Calc. So, yeah, I just sent him that text. Okay, well, you know, can you tell Talon that we're out hanging out? She's like, don't worry about it. He, he, I will tell him now. Uh, we all know that a phone call or a text at 3.30 in the morning is not about calculus. Well, you know, that date ended abruptly because Nico wanted to go and sit out on the porch and, or not on the porch, but there was some benches around a fountain. And, you know, he wanted to just sit and talk for a little bit, but Tempest just abruptly kind of ended the date. I realized that it was kind of late, you know, and she might have been tired, but, you know, he just, they don't get to spend as much time with each other as they used to between you know, his basketball practice, her cheerleading practice, his tutoring and such. But um, so the little time they do get to spend, um, he tries to make the most of it. But she just kind of skedaddled like she was Cinderella and it was midnight and she needed to be home. Um, so he decided that he wanted to come over and kill some time with Tati. They have not paid their bills yet. And she actually had just been walking, get, getting home. Um, from uh, where I don't know, but, uh, she's a little rank y'all. <laughs> uh, but he doesn't seem to care. Uh, they're just having a great time talking to each other. Um, so he is explaining about his night with Tempest. Um, he's like, yeah, we went to, we went to eat, um, I'm not going to ask her on a date, but I do want them to take a photo. They haven't, ha they don't have any photos together. And she's like, I need to take a shower, Nico. I, I love you, dude, but I need to take a shower. But I really want them to take this picture together. She does, um, I mean, we, she does want a picture with him. So 
I think she'd be willing to. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, well, we'll make the most of it. All right. Let's get one. Nope. It's not going to work. Let us get one in black and white. Yeah. Get a couple of these just in case. I like that too. Okay. All right. Give her a hug. Let's show off a little. Let's show her the picture. And then can we give her a hug? Um... Okay, give her a hug. Slider. You stink. And, um, yeah, all right. So tell her good night. Uh, you know, flirt friend, be a friendly flirt with her. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly flirt. All right, dude, I love you, and I'm going to head home. Um, yeah. All right. So she took that in stride. Awesome. All right, Nico, it's time for you to head the heck home and give Tati some room. She is getting dirtier and dirtier by the minute. Okay. I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode there. Nico um, needed a little cheering up, not necessarily cheering up, but you know, he needed some kind of reassurance just by hanging out with his friend Kind of telling though that if he was in a bad mood, he'd go head, uh, head out with or hang out with Tati. Um, but you know, he uh, she has become a pillar in his life. Okay, uh, we are back at the Mason home. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, oh, okay, look at him. Like, hmm, hmm. I actually kind of like that kiss on the cheek. Uh, Nico is going to go ahead and head to bed. Melisande is chilling on the computer. She does that a lot. I don't know why I just went through the walls, but she's been doing that a lot lately. I don't know what's uh, what she's looking for, but uh, whatever. She's been spending a lot of her free time on the computer, and Mason has been chilling watching TV. He's had a long week, and you know he just wants to relax uh, for the remainder of his weekend. Uh, he is on call, so uh, who knows what's going to happen if he's going to have any time to spend with Melisande. But before we end the episode, I did want to see if Melisande can at least talk him into having some quality time. It's early Saturday morning. It's eight o'clock. Um, and well, maybe they just woke up because they're both fairly energized. So yeah, maybe. So, I mean, it's, it's Saturday morning. Nico is in the bed. Maybe they can go mess around a little bit. So let's have her woohoo with him in the closet. What closet? What closet are we woohooing in? Wait a minute. Not Nico. Oh, wait a minute. No, we can't be woohooing in um, Nico's closet. Let's woohoo in the bed with just regular woohoo. Uh, we are not trying to... Um, to uh, <laughs> send our child to therapy that soon because uh, I think that is the only closet in the house. Yeah, that is the only closet in the house. That would have been terrible. Yeah, I don't see any other closet. Oh my gosh, that would have been horrendous for him. All right, so they're going to go ahead and start the day off right. Um, and, you know, maybe, maybe... Melisande will accidentally get pregnant, but Mason tries to take extra precautions. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption. I wanted to spend some time with the Champion family a little bit, but on our next episode, we'll definitely hang out more with Tati and her family and see what goes on from there. If you're not a member of our family, I do hope that you consider subscribing. And while you're down there hitting that notification bell, so you'll know every time I upload, which is at least three times a week. And until next time, guys, I love you. Bye-bye.